Greetings, I am the Penniless Priest, and welcome to a new series that I like to call Hearthstone Lecture. So, in the original Hearthstone theory, I go over the exact mechanics and effects that take place in Hearthstone as it comes to card design, but here, I'm going to put those methodologies into practice. Now, recently, a particular card, Coldlight Oracle, has been announced to be moved into the Hearthstone Hall of Fame. So today, I figured I would examine my most successful deck using Cold Light Oracle. Here we have the particular deck I use. It is a pretty simple Kingsbane Rogue. I use a few extra elements in it that some other people don't use. For example, I leave out cards such as uh, Captain Greenskin, specifically because I don't have that particular copy and I'm not willing to invest the dust in it. While I mix in cards such as Valdori Strider, uh, Vanish I have a lot of use with, although that's pretty normal, and Cold Light Oracle, naturally. It, overall, this deck is not as great as you might think it is. It gets maybe a 40% win rate, unless you're really clever, but it leads to some pretty fun moments. And I'm hoping I can display some of them to you today. So we'll see how that goes. Currently, I'm only up to rank 18, so most of the opponents that I'll be facing will be playing a little bit of unusual decks that aren't in the meta at the moment. I should climb the ladder at some point. Uh, my Control Warlock deck right here is one in particular that I should be able to get going with it. But in the meantime, I'm more interested in playing this today, so let's get started. Valera versus Artus. Okay, you can also see that I include in this deck Sonya Shadow Dancer. Whether or not she's useful enough for this deck is debatable, but hopefully I can show you how she is useful in one of these future games. She's not useful in the opening hand, though. You typically want to shoot for something like your uh, Shiny Finders early in the game. This hand's pretty lousy. Cold lights actually aren't Don't very go. good at the early stage of the game. They're okay, but they aren't great. The pleasure is mine. What would you do? Look! No shinies! Cameron Shiny Finder is an excellent turn two play because it lets you draw a card, albeit a card that in the early game isn't very useful. And in exchange, you get. Uh, what do you get? You end up getting a nice 3-1 on the board, which is useful against anything except for a mage. So if he hero powers, for example, I can counter with my dad and go face. But it seems a bit more likely. What? They fell off a truck. can never just play a normal deck, can these guys? Okay, well, all things considered, I don't want to give a hand buff paladin more cards unless it's on my terms. So Cold Light Oracle isn't the greatest play. But on the other hand, I don't have many other plays that I can do without Cold Light Oracle. Hmm. In the end, I think what I'm going to end up on is Control the To so that end... Buffing my dagger early is going to be useful to me. Sometimes I like saving the deadly poisons so I can combo them with the Valera. The Death Knight Valera, specifically. And when that happens, the dagger can get very strong very quickly. But right now, control is a little bit more the name of the game. That being said, right now I need cards. I need to be ready. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Why wouldn't you kill this? My mother does love this face. Backstab is particularly powerful as a combo enabler. However, the problem with that at the moment is I want to try controlling this guy. 
such that I can make it to my late game, which I am more confident in than I am in his late game. So my win strategy right now is keep surviving. And to that end, I need to clear any minions he places down on the field. Although the smuggler's a very weak card Winter for a deck like that. Is here. I'll give this guy points for creativity. So the cold lights being used this early in the game is not something I would typically end up doing. But when you have to do it, then you have to do it, basically. Um, it's much more useful later in the game when you can get three or four different cold lights, sometimes multiple on the same turn. This, however, as long as I can maintain control over my opponent... Everything should be just fine. Here we go. You soon. The win strategy for this deck is basically draw your entire deck and use the combos that are in the deck to work for you. So, it has lots of different combos that are very powerful, but unfortunately what are difficult Uther to get do? done. So, having cards such as Elven Minstrel, uh, Fan of Knives, and Cold Light Oracle enable for all of these combinations to be put into effect a little bit easier. Right now my, my hand is full. Goodbye. Right now my minions are particularly weak in this deck. Only useful for some of the combinations they can provide. So you'd think Elven Minstrel wouldn't be very strong. However, the more minions you draw, the more likely that the next card you draw is something that you want, such as my Deadly Poison, my Shadow Step, which conversely is only useful with Cold Light Oracles, but I digress. And most importantly, the Death Knight, which will enable many more combos and many more beautiful things that could defeat this guy very soundly. Which path to choose? The light dims, but we fight. Out of my jungle. Yeah, so there's the taunt minions. If you put down three, I will admit that that puts me in a situation that gets complicated. Belongs to the okay. And here I was worried that this was going to start getting boring. All right. The light's justice has failed. It looks like he has got the means to heal himself now, which is less than ideal. Okay, I'll bite. You cannot escape the shadow of death. The end was near was merely a setback. See, now it's a seven seven. One man a seven seven, if you will. 
because now it's much more worth it to sap it. Two mana, two mana. It's almost impossible. Unless he saved the coin. Oh, shoot. He actually did save Death the coin. He has actually saved the coin. Grows. You know what? I'm going to play it safe then. Might be a little paranoid killing the horseman rather than going to his face, but I'm not going to risk it. If he has some sort of combo going with a coin, then that could actually inhibit me by making me lose. Oh dear. Oh no! No! Oh, it's not a spell. It's not a spell. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Everything is just fine. However, these guys aren't going to get buff. Get the buff that I want them to. Which is not ideal. I don't want to vanish that. Ooh! Lucky me, I suppose. This could get problematic. Well, anything that gets rid of Spike Ridge Steed is okay in my book. Hmm. Three, six. You know what? I will do that. All right, guys, watch grows. this. This is going to be interesting. Three. Come, try your luck. Come, try your luck. I've successfully cloned my Sonya, and it only cost Sonya. me every Death. card in my hands. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The light dims. Uh, if he has an AoE like Consecration, then everything's downhill from there. I'm almost out of cards. The end draws near. Gotta pay off. Not oh, there's Consecration. As I was going to Alright, so where is this guy beating me? The... Oh, does he have lethal? Ah, no! What a... What a boring ending! That's no fair. Ah. You know, that game was going so well, too. I got to show you all the pieces of my deck, just some of them not in as cool light as others. Let's see what happens next. We'll play a bit of a game here.